Rachel Ellis in two, Shane Bailey in three, Ramon Barneswell in four, Akeem Blake in five, Cajun Golson in six, Michael Stevens in seven, and Javoy Tucker in lane eight. Looks as if all eight gentlemen have Nakak. championship representative. And Nakak, Nakak 100 yeah. meter champion too. Cajun Golson, you just wait until for Cajun Golson to have this magnificent breakout year. has been improving year by year. Michael Stevens promised a lot while attending Calabar. Was part of that Calabar. Uh, Hubert Lawrence calls it the golden generation for Calabar. Middle of your track. Barnes of Lake Golson. Let's see how what they'll give us after 60 meters. The first of two in the men's uh, 60 meter heats. And yes, it is 60 meters. Wright, Ellis, Bailey, Barneswell, Blake, Golson, Stevens, and Tucker. So that position bang sent <laughs> off early uh, bailey's out good here comes blake and golson right beside him to the line they go akeem blake takes it just ahead of golson of gc foster just in case you wonder <laughs> viewers i had not seen the race before so when i said that akeem blake would get the best start and Cajun Golson will get the best finish but the times are what's impressive akeem blake 656 faster than he ran two weeks ago at the Camperdown Classic with Johan Blake. Again, Akeem Blake there in lane five in the lime green, the best start of all, but in that brown, the tall, powerful Cadron Golson for every step getting closer and closer. 656 for Akeem Blake, 6.59 for Cadron Golson. For Shane Bailey, 6.70 at the same time for Nigel Ellis in fourth, Michael Stevens fifth, Ramon Barneswell sixth. Javel Wright in seventh with 681 and 688 for Javoy Tucker. Stephen 6.7. The former class one champion from Calabar, world championship finalist. He goes in lane five. Beside him from MVP Track Club. 6.63 at his best over 60 meters. Michael Campbell. Rashid Foster from the Micah University College. He's just holding back the smile, trying to concentrate on this one, and that he'll have to do. And Javon White rounding out the field here. So it's Bennett Archibald, Broadbell, On your marks. Seville, Campbell, Foster, and White. So the time to beat, six point. Five, uh, six seconds by Akeem Blake in the first uh, semi in the first heat. This is of League Seville, the World Championship finalist of over 100 meters. Set. Set position. Sent <laughs> off. Uh, Archibald out quickly. No, there was movement. Back. There was definite movement at the start. You see movement in seven? Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah, just. Yeah, once you move, seven. the system is going to. That's Rashid. Um, the system will detect it. You have to be perfectly still. We went through the three races so of see. the women. Oh, he's warned. Yeah. And so that's actually fairly reasonable in right. that, though he did twitch, I think by the time he left the blocks, the gun had sounded. So I think it's a reasonable position to take. Of course, we'll. Newby in four, Seville in five, Campbell in six. Foster 7 and uh, Javon White of GC Foster in lane 8. Look out for Seville, newbie in. Inside lanes uh, 4 and 5. Sent off and newbies out well. So to Broadbell and Archibald. Uh, Seville will have some work to do and he does catch the field easily at the end. So Seville didn't wow. get out to the best start. But my my, what a speedball <laughs> oblique Seville is. As he caught them on the line and had enough time to look across as well. Okay. He enjoyed that. The 60 meters is intense. There's no time for separation. Seville giving it at 657. But look at this. The entire field together at this point. It's 10 meters in. Rashid Broadbell perhaps moving best of all. But then, oblique Seville with the overdrive. Michael Campbell going with him there in lane six. 
but it's going to be Oblique Seville, Broad Bell, and in lane two, or, or long jumper, who's not just a long jumper, Emmanuel Archibald. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think they're going to have a bit of sorting out to do. I think Seville separated itself. Broadville at 6.59. And, and, and Archibald, Then yeah. you have Archibald at 6.59. Campbell, yeah. 6.62. Javon yeah. White, 6.65. Jeevan Newby, 6.68. And Rashid Foster, 6.1. Hassan Taftian in two. Odin McPherson in three. Zarnell Hughes in four. Brendan Rodney. In a five, Johan Blake in six, Ron Watson in seven, and Wazim Williams in lane eight. One thing we can tell you, viewers, is that all the Jamaican based men who sprint have turned up. We have three heats, eight lanes, 24 men, no empty lanes. In the case of the women, there were a couple of empty lanes. It's, it's only 60 meters after all. Is it there's I'm, money I'm on the <laughs> line as well? I'm just stifling you. <laughs> So they set inside their blocks. Wilson, Taftian, McPherson, Hughes, Rodney, Blake, Watson, and Wazim Williams of Elite Performance out there in lane eight. Third heat, men's set. 60 meters. Set off, clean break. And McPherson's out quickly. Here comes Johan Blake now, and Hughes as well. Hughes will take it wow. just ahead of Johan Blake. Zarnell Hughes. Zarnell Hughes with the fastest oh, time of the day. Probably Six. of KC. Competes for Great Britain. Trains at the races at track club. So 6.57. For Blake. Hughes 6.52. So Hughes at 6.52. So amazing, amazing running. Good now, be able, uh, let's look at the replay. Best out in the middle. Or was it lane one, Tariq Wilson? But in the middle of the field, Brendan Rodney was leading at this stage. Johan Blake goes to the front. And then Zarnell Hughes, the fastest finisher. Ooh, ah, I, don't I think know. Blake got it. That's very close, but ah. the times have them way apart. And you know, the torso is what matters, but yeah, that. that Alan, four, five, that, two, that, six point five, five four, four for Johan Blake. Rodney gets the 6.57. In a third, Thank was you. in William 6.62 and Ron Watson, formerly of York Castle, 6.63. But Dane McPherson, 6.67. That shows you how close it was. Having anchored Titans in the 4x100 meters, not too long after running the heats of the 60. There's so a lineup Emmanuel Archibald, Rashid Broadbell, Johan Blake, Oblique Seville, Akeem Blake, Zarnell Hughes, Brendan Rodney, and Cadrian Goldson. Yeah, interesting name in this lineup, Brendan Rodney, part of big 4x1 teams for Canada. And uh, last year at the World Championship, did, almost, did the almost impossible, defeated the mighty 4x1 team of the USA with his teammate Andre de Grasse and company in Eugene, Oregon. That's Emmanuel Archibald. Ghanese long jumper, been to the Olympic Games, trains here with Rickett Performance. Johan Blake on screen. No Rashid Broadbell then. Second fastest man of all time of both 100 and 200, 969 and 1926. Youngest man to ever win the 100 meters at the World Championship. Back this is 2011. Yeah, this is Oblique Seville, fourth in the World Championship last year. Fine, fine talent. Twice a fourth place finisher. Here's Akeem Blake, quite the story this young man, runs with his father in mind at all times, I'm Ronnie sure. Hotty yeah. to the NACAP 100 title last year in Freeport, the Bahamas. Zarnell Hughes, bib number 1747, we were spoke about him earlier, represents the Great Britain. How's the boys champs class one record, 10.12. Brendan Rodney, what a story for him on big relay teams for Canada, world champions last year. 6.67 at GC Foster, says he likes his improvement in his start. Yeah, Cadrian goes up. Finds himself tonight in lane eight. That's Johan Blake, 33, still 
very, very quick. Where should our eyes be focused, Hubert? I like Golson on the outside. I like Golson on the outside. Johan Blake is there too, but he's run much more than everybody else. Maybe, Fresh? Maybe he'd be the man to win. Hughes, maybe. Set. Quick start for Akeem Blake as usual. Johan Blake also there. Look at Oblique Seville. It's a top three. Akeem Blake steps forward. No, Akeem Blake. Let's see what the actual time is. 6.42. And the wind is 0 0.9 meters per second. Is that a following wind or was it a headwind? It's a headwind. 6.42 into a headwind is very very nippy it proves that glenn was, was correct to hold him out of meets after you wasn't quite right here he is starts behind akeem blake in the bright vest comes to his shoulder johan blake trying to come through he was finishing fast but on the lean the bright colored vest of this man akeem blake yeah i thought it may come down to the top three from the 100 at the national championships last year Blake, Blake and Seville. With and Hughes in there for international color. The future is now. Inseparable, Blake and Seville there. Someone asked me when we covered the World Champs 2019 in studio, when were Jamaicans 2024? Akeem Blake, is he 22? Seville, 23. Conroy Jones, 10 flat. Jelani Walker, 10 flat. The schoolboys are sensational. Yeah, we look at the results. Akeem Blake, 6.42. Oblique Seville, 6.42. Zarna Hughes, 6.45. Johan Blake, 6.45. Golson, 6.50. Brendan Rodney, 6.57.